guys what's up welcome back to another master duels video today's video i want to showcase i have spent basically all of my gym as we can see here i only have 725 gems left so what is the mysterious deck i've been working on i'm sure i'm sure you guys all know by now from looking at the thumbnail it is of course Virals. Now, I didn't hear that master plan was off until my friend pointed it out to me. And resort is at three. So I'm just, I am a, one of the bigger viral fans out there. And then I just immediately jump back to this deck. I cannot wait to share with you guys some of the fun that I've had climbing the ladder with this. Without further ado, what is Spiral? Spiral is a is a the archetype that basically allows you to plus seven. Yes, plus seven in card advantage at a certain stage in your in your combos. I think I think you end with like plus six also. Now what can this deck do? It is yeah. It is a combo deck that plus a seven that ends the board with like um, two Appaloosa negates, one Trigate Wizard negate, uh, damn, uh, hard destruction protection, one target shuffle back into the deck, and two target destructions. Yeah, that is a lot. Along with any hand traps, that, you that is a lot for your opponent to draw with. So, I think two Appa negates. Try gate, that's three. Uh four with the wire. Five and six with the pop pop from sleeper. Basically you can interact with every single card in your opponent's hand if you have basic spiral setup. Now how to set up spirals is where the fun part actually is. this is where Yu-Gi-Oh is fun. Looking at our deck list, we have one spiral quick fix. This card is sadly also limited on Master Duel. This card is just does absolutely everything. This card was quickly limited because of how good this is with machine duplication. Basically, quick fix on summon, normal or special, allows you to add your to your deck a spiral gear. You have a big red and last resort and utility wire. So and once if you have a uh, if you have a super agent on your field you can just discard a card special summon him but banish him when he leaves the field we're gonna do some xyz plays to reuse this over and over again and his discarding effect also comes in handy you'll see exactly why later barrel gear drone this card is an on normal summon look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and rearrange it however you like this will come in handy but we'll see why later. Magician Souls needs no introduction. It dumps the spellcaster to special summon. And in our case, we can also utilize the draw very well of Magician Souls. Three maxis, standard. Two Ash Blossoms, standard. We're playing one Spiral Super Agent as we're going to be searching him. This card in this deck is just to... So you can call the top card of your opponent's deck. And if you call it right, you just special summon it. You can just special summon it and destroy a spell or trap card of your opponent's field. Oh, well, it's not really useful for going first. But so this card, we want if we do not have drone, we want to use him to scout what is the top card of our opponent's deck. As we need to know what it is for a future card that you will see later. Spiral Gear Last Resort. This card allows you to equip it to a spiral monster. And that card will be, uh, will be immune from destruction and battle. Next up, we have a banned card on the team, Spiral Master Plan. This card on the field can allow you to search for a spiral mission. And if it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a spiral resort and a spiral monster to your hand. This card itself is a plus two. You get to search and you get to search two. So using itself, you can call it a plus three in some scenarios. Spiral Sleeper, this is a boss monster for our deck. He can target itself. You can target a card you control and two cards your opponent's controls, destroy them. 
the we want. Obviously, you can see now Sleeper, if equipped with Last Resort, targeting himself, he will not be destroyed, and we get a free destruction of two cards on our opponent. Parallax Seed, this is just in to do more combo plays. We have one Monster Reward, one Terraforming, because it is a field spell based deck. One for one, we have level ones. We are Bell, we have level ones. Foolish Burial Goods, this is used for dumping our Spiral Missions, which we'll get to soon. Triple, Triple Tactic Talents, this deck has a lot of... Has a lot of um, extenders, you just need to draw it if you can stop it. One Big Red, this card is a in archetype Monster Reborn. That's a Spiral Resort, this card is a house. What does it do? It allows you on activation to rotor for Spiral. And your, your opponent cannot target, cannot target spiral cards, that's targeting protection, so good. And it has a immediately maintenance cost of shuffling a monster from your graveyard into the deck. Easy. Double call by the grave, we do not want to get hand trapped anywhere. Cross our designator, we do not want to get max seed ashed, other protection. Spiral gear, utility wire. If you have a super agent on your field, target a face up card and stack it on top of your opponent's deck. Another form of removal. Now, the core part of our deck is Spiral Mission Rescue. This card, we don't care it. We don't care about the on-field effect. In the graveyard, you can banish it and once they're born a spiral. <laughs> yes. Not hard once per turn. That's why we went round three. Remember when I said quick fix discards a card to special summon himself? You're looking at the card you want to discard. Remember when Spiral Master Plan searches a Spiral Mission? That's what you're searching for. Remember when... Yeah, you, you know, you know. You get the point. Spiral Mission Rescue, most important card ever. Looking at our extra deck, Princess Sprite is just the overlay for Quick Fix so he doesn't get, get banished when he's sent to the graveyard so we can use his effect again as Quick Fix will be banished if he uses effects and... Uh, Luralisk Nightingale, we all know this is just to make this. Attack directly into AA Zeus. We have one Dugaris the Timeless because we have a level 4 line in order to Monster Reborn to extend again. One Link Rebo, we have level 1s. Now this is boss monster number 2 for Spiral. I mean, I guess he has a UR, he has a summoning animation, so what Double Helix can do is you call the top card of your opponent's deck. Call it right. Rotor a spiral or summon it to a zone it points to. You want to be summoning it to a zone it points to. Just straight from your deck. Super duper good card. And it will come in very handy when you want to use your spiral mission for more link climbing. And. Oh, yes. Double Helix's name becomes Double Agent. So it triggers our utility wire and our quick fix. Nightmare Cerberus, Nightmare Phoenix, Barricade Lord Blocker. These are all uh, these the, the nightmare packages. Oh, and nightmare unicorn. The nightmare package is just for more utility plays. But nightmare feet wants it for its arrows, so we can target our colink. It can protect our colink monsters from being destroyed by card effects. Barricade board. If we want to get something out of our hand, Fragate wizard. Card is an army negate. If we can colink it all three ways, it is an army negate. So we that's what we want to be doing. It's a lean for more comboing plays as our master plan is a spellcaster, Appaloosa, our end board boss monster, and access code for the game ending play. This is the deck list. I can't believe that I'm playing spirals again. And I'm going to be showing you some replays. Let's go. Alright, we're going to be jumping into replay number one. These are all replays in the platinum tier. They're all very high quality players allegedly outdoor so going first we drew magician souls magician souls allows you to dump your master plan straight into the deck and we want to get our quick fix to search for big red it is the searchable in archetype master reborn searching for master plan so now we can see the degeneracy of master plan activate effect add rescue back oh yes very important thing we can actually use magician souls to draw two so since we will have a big red on the field and master plan will add the mission, we can use magician souls to send the big red and the rescue to the graveyard to draw two. There's a very specific interaction that magician that big red will not send our monster to the graveyard when it is removed. Big plays. 
Okay, and now we're gonna continue. We want to get both both agents and sleeper through resorts and using our um, agents. Now here we summon our double helix. This is and now we have since we have a parallel exceed in our hand, we can just continue. Okay up. Yeah. Our master plan will allow us to search for a soil card and a resort. Continuing up with Parallax Lead, Quick Mix because we call a Double Helix, get to just Special Summon him. On Summon, we get to search for Spiral Gear. Now we use Super Agent to call out a card, and we got it wrong. But now we also know what the top card of our opponent's deck is. And Princess Sprite, we actually hit a Spiral card. Now this is where I made a little misplay. Double Helix needs to Special Summon to a zone it points to. So we will not be able to special summon our master plan. However, we have a rescue to be able to be able to get her out again. Now we're going to be linking up into Appaloosa, our first our first batch of the gates. We're fortunate enough to get three materials for her. Next it is our Trigate Wizard. Now we're attempting to create go into our Triple Curl Link Trigate Wizard. But But this deck is not but we didn't get a consistent enough hit. Make a nightmare unicorn. So sadly, Trigate Wizard is not live. However, our spiral sleeper is still live. So we have targeting protection, three negates, and one one bounce. Our opponent activates. Aldrich, we're just gonna negate, like there's no reason for it to go off. And then our opponent mostly yeah, wants to attempt to summon Aldrich, we will not let him. And that is the Aldrich negated for the whole turn. Our opponent scoops because if he has back row, we can just pop it with spiral uh spiral sleeper. And our opponent mostly recognized he cannot push through, therefore surrenders. Remember, sp quick master uh, sleeper is just is a quick effect once per turn. So we can in our opponent's turn pop two. At the start of our turn, pop another two. Right, we're gonna be jumping into record number two, replay number two. This is quite a funny replay as I love it when opponents attempt the maxi challenge. So as you can see here, we our opponent will issue out the maxi challenge. Attempt to summon, we maxi. Usually, usually we should, uh, the turn should just end. Like that is the right thing to do. Like you set up a little defense and just hope. Right, but nope. Our opponent says, I'll take you on. I am going to, I know you have maxi, but I am going to go after you. Finally, we're playing two Korean. Oh, I think I was just playing in a time where Koreans were most active. Uh, these are some Drytron plays, but I was quite confused to as what Drytron he's playing, and that's when I realized our opponent is playing pure Drytrons without the without the without the fairy, without the fairy part. So seems like our opponent is prepared for Ava's ban. I totally do not like pure Drytrons. It is just not strong enough. There are pops with the boss monster but there's just something about having seven materials seven fairies in your hand to negate everything from world like that is something that i'll always miss oh yes so maxi drew ash blossom guess what i stopped your combo that is what maxi does our opponent just continuing to pop off like he's just really not scared of maxi like he's not scared of my deck and then like I'm not even I don't even understand because he does not he does not even end on like a open a gate board. Okay, as you can see how he how he ends his board later. Yeah you have the that is a very cool sum. Yeah I drew so much cards I can't even see like what's on the left and what's on the right. I was having trouble, I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to play this cards at all since I don't even know what they are. Plays, but you see what I mean here. I'm not sure what Rytron deck our opponent is playing. You see, we can't see our quick fix and rescue anyway. Now, our turn with our Omega board, Omega hand, 
just time. You just need to. We can just vomit out everything. Oh, you destroy my resort. All done. Maybe you used to could have stopped me, but not anymore. I'm just going to triple tactics heal your dragonlands because it's a nice 4,000 attack beat pick. Beautiful. Your monster now belongs to us. You see, we destroyed our res resort. Guess what? Our resort is at three now. So we just terraforming, search for another one. Quick fix. Big red. This is exactly the same. Uh, I called monster because we're play, playing against Drytrons and I called it correctly. Now any two spirals will get you double helix. As you can see from this uh, cover art, it is just sleeper and, sleeper and super agent. We called correctly, master plan, and we just, it's just business as usual. We don't even need half the cards in our hand. Oh yes, a very neat trick. So remember that quick fix gets banished. If it leaves the field. I have a quick fix discards a card as cost. Summon him if we control a super agent. Now we discard our mission, then we chain our mission in graveyard to banish it to monster reborn our quick fix. It will be treated as a normal reborning of a card and therefore is not subjected to the banish when it leaves the field. As you can see here, quick fix comes out. Right, so a uh, master plan is a spell caster. So that, that allows us to summon out Selene. And Selene, we will have enough spell cards. That is just how spells work. And it just gets out Selene. So it's a free link line. As you can see, we're going to link one. Our mask quick fix. He goes to the graveyard because it was summoned, technically summoned off the effect of Spiral Mission Rescue. Now we're just summoning out thing. Just for our opponent banish. Monster reborn. All of it. Double helix. Quick fix again. Discard a card. This time we do not use the effects of our mission as we do not need our quick fix anymore. We can just link to access code talker. Pop pop pop. And then pop and a pop. And then we can summon sleeper and we can pop two more. This game we got it in our bag. There is nothing to afraid. So this is another reminder to everyone out there: do not take, do not take the maxi challenge. There is just, if you're going first, no reason to give your opponent all these maxi cards, unless you know what he plays and you can just stop him at linchpin areas. But for the moment being, in a best of one, just sit and hope that you make it. Alright, jumping into the last replay is also probably the most um, the most showcase worthy replay. Like we do not our hand is okay. And we can show you how so we first play resort to bait out any hand traps our opponent has. You see, there's the maxi. Because that is just a one for one. We use one resort for one ash blossom. But now uh what? One for one, allow, you must discard a card first to, in order to summon. So you're negging one. You do not want that to be ashed. It will. It is advantage for opponents. Okay, so this is what I showed you. Magician Souls. That into Quick Fix. Big Red Summon. Add Rescue. Magician Souls. Send Big Red and the mission to hand to draw two cards. We have two smiles on the field. Into Double Helix. Now, since we do not know what the top card of our opponent's hand is yet, Master Plan allows us to add Super Agent and Resort. Our Super Agent will attempt to call the top card of our opponent's deck, we call Monster Card, and we guessed correctly. That was just a pure guess, but now for our Double Helix, we definitely know what it is. Second Master Plan, get out here, we got in getting ourselves a mission, linking it up to Selene. We will have enough uh, spell cards in the graveyard in order to use back to Monster Reborn, a spell caster, which in our case is going to Master Plan again. What does Master Plan do when it's on the field? You activate its effect and you search a spiral mission card. Picking it up, we all have a 2 material Appaloosa. Yeah, 2 material is not the most ideal, but hey, it is still 2, two negates for us. Quick fix, discarding a card. Monster Reborn. We do not need to use mission in the graveyard to quick fix as we have Magician Souls on the field. The overlay into Princess Sprite. Now you would always want to get last resort first before princess pricing because if you princess sprite hit last resort that card just goes to the graveyard 
Now we use our mission to monster reborn our double helix. Double helix is a link two with the princess sprite is link three. We will be making our tri gate wizard. Now we have to work for our tri gate wizard omni omni negate. This is our last time we've been eating our quick fix, so we do not even care about its effect. You can send away Spar Resort, activate Spar Resort again. It is not a once per turn. If you have three, you search for three. Now we link to two. Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix says all Code Link monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. And guess what our monsters are? Everything is Code Linked. Now we have an alive target wizard with the army in the gate. We got a sleeper out here equipped with a can't be destroyed battle, can't be destroyed by card effects. And we even rearranged the top part of our opponent's deck. So now we are looking at we are looking at two negates, three negates, a tripwire to jump back, so that's four interruptions. Sleeper pops two, six interruptions, six interruptions, and our card cannot be destroyed by card effects, so it cannot break us, cannot lightning storm us. Sleeper also cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Uh, how does our opponent get through this? We even have an Ash Blossom in our hand. What does our opponent do? Our opponent says, ready, set, desires, Ash Blossom. We do not want him to plus more. We want to negate every single card in his hand. What does our opponent do? Okay, play the second card. We go, no. Like, there's no reason for us to let you play the game. Get to the, get to the graveyard, you. And that is the end of the game. The spiral is yet another combo deck. Let's go into the post. Post replay. I'll come back everybody. So as we can see, spiral is another combo deck that aims to set up an unbreakable board. It is quite a recurring theme of my channel. It is just unbreakable board of the unbreakable board of the unbreakable board of the replays of going first and losing. I mean. I have to pick the best con 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 content. Uh, only the best quality of duels comes up. Don't worry, I this deck is strong enough. You will be winning more than 54% of the games. And all you need is that positive win rate. Because as long as you have a positive win rate, you can climb forever. Indefinitely. But yeah, this is the buffed by Master Duel Spiral decklist. I am going to be making some other kind of content. These days because gems are running low i really do not want to spend more gems until i see what the next update for the rules looks like so uh, let me know what other kind of content i should make time have a good one